Hey, doing this is Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and I'm going to the next step in the journey in the process of tanning a hide and preparing it for mounting a deer, uh, a shoulder mount for a white-tailed deer. So I've had my um, deer hides, in, you know, sitting in the acid solution for about a little over a week, waiting till I had everything I needed to go to the next step. So I have three gallons of water here, and you should put uh, at least an ounce of baking soda per gallon. So I only need three ounces, but when I was pouring the box, it went a little overboard. I've got more like four. I'm just going to put that in this cold water here, and then I'm going to stir that up, get that nice and mixed in, and then I'll get my deer hide ready to put in there. mix this make sure that there's lots of fluid hitting both sides of the cape inside and out especially in that neck area you want know, to make sure that it's getting down in there in the face both sides you want you know good coverage hitting both sides of the skin This is neutralizing the pH. It was in the acid solution. So now this is going to help bring the pH back up for the tanning process. All right. All right, so I'm going to sit it in that for about 20 minutes. And um, while it's doing that, I can start doing some of my prep work on the form. Alright, I'm now getting my hide out of the neutralizing solution and I will also say that my kids are now right above me playing so if you hear screaming and carrying on and whatever in the audio then that's what's happening. Now I will also say this, I'm going to kind of squeeze and wring this out as I go but always be careful the ears, the ears fill up with water or whatever the solution is and um, you know th that can come kind of pouring out later if you're I'm kind of squeezing the ear out right now though but uh, if you weren't aware of that you could have this out to, woo, just like that and um, all of a sudden a bunch of fluid come running out on you and uh, it can make a mess so I'm just gonna kind of wring it out as I pick it up here and I've already got a towel laid out on the table. I'm going to eventually move this bucket and uh, lay the hide out on the towel. Okay. All right, so here's my hide. I'm gonna lay it out flat, and I'm, I'm gonna roll it up into the towel here to have it help me uh, dry it out. You know, wick the moisture out for the next step. So I want complete coverage. And then I'm gonna roll it up, starting with the face, because. I like to start up there. It's more, it's kind of, you know, the very bottom of the cape, you know, it's, it's not always super important because you're going to be, I mean, if you cut enough, if you did it right and you cut enough to begin with, you're going to be trimming some of the bottom of that cape off. Here it is popping out on me there. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for about 10 more minutes. All right, now I'm trying Mackenzie tan. Uh, I've never used this one before. I've used other tans. The one thing I like about this one is it doesn't, in the directions, say you have to, you know, warm it up in hot water before, like, you know, sit the bottle in, in hot water to, you know, get it going. So that's nice. And they, they recommend you use a paintbrush, but... 
I, you know, you, this is why I've been wearing the rubber gloves, because I knew I was getting to this stage here, and I usually just rub it in with my hands. I really, you know, you can get it in the nooks and crannies a little better that way. Let's see here. There's a little seal on there. And I have plastic, you know, spread out on the table here so that, um, you know, I'll have to clean up oil off the table later. So I'm just, as you can see, I'm just squirting some of this on. And then I basically, I'm working it in with the one hand. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could do this with both hands, but I don't want to get the, the outside of the bottle all gunked up because I'm going to put this in storage, whatever's left, and, and save it for my next deer hide. And so um, I'm just using one hand, and that way I keep, you know, the other one holds the bottle, basically. And make sure you get the ears and everything, front and back of the ears. Each side. And uh, also all around the face. One thing I did, um, I don't think I had the camera recording. Well, let me just say this while I'm around the eye. You want to get, make sure you pull out the eyelids that you had, you know, worked over and, and get that real good wherever there's skin, both sides of it, right there. But what I was saying is, I had this whole hide wrapped up in that towel, and, and when I unwrapped it, there was a few creases where the towel didn't come in contact with the skin, so I used the towel to block those areas to get any standing moisture off that I could see. So that's something you could do as well. I'm going to get around this nose pads really good and the nostrils. I, I want total coverage. I want this to cover every bit of flesh because this oil is going to soak in to that. Getting around the lips right now. Alright, so right now the way I've done this, I've pretty much got one side oiled up with the tan. Let me get the bottom a little bit more here. I'm not super worried about the bottom because I know I'm cutting a lot of this off once I get it on the mannequin. And now I'll flip this whole thing over and do the other side. And you can clearly see what, what has been oiled with the tan and what has not. And, you know, I'll just point this out. I got a broadhead cut here, and I had an accidental slip with the cut when I was flushing it. Uh, and those, those are areas I'll just be stitching up. And that's, you know, is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You just stitch it up in the next phase of the process. Make sure you get it right on the edge of where you've been working, too, you know, like on the sides here. Don't want to miss that. This eye real good and the nostril, make sure you get the nostrils, both nostrils inside and out real good. Those types of areas. Get this ear. Okay. So at this point, I've got enough on there. I'm happy with that. I can use both hands and I can put the bottle down. And what I'll actually do is kind of roll, starting at the face, just roll this up. Because again, I, I like to do it that way. The face is kind of the most important to me because some of the stuff near the end of the hide is going to get cut off anyway. And then um, I just flip the plastic up over it and let it sit overnight like that. Now I can take these gloves off. Done with those. I'll leave those there for now. All right. All right, so I'm back. It's now the following day. This is sat overnight, and the oil has, you know, penetrated in the tanning oil. Uh, some of it has run off. But what I'm going to do is I have a bucket of water here, and I'm going to rinse the hide in the water, 
and that's just going to get some of the extra oil off which in turn will help with the uh, glue adhesion when we get it on the, on the mount itself. Get another towel for drying it off a little bit. You can see though after you know that's nice white color there after the tan. From what I've been told that means it did its job, it did a good job. Now that the hide is fully tanned and ready to go, we can prepare the mannequin for mounting and then go ahead and actually put the hide on the mannequin. So let's move on to the next set of videos where I'm going to do all that.